Uh, basically, what we're looking at is can we provide care anywhere, anytime, with less variability, <laughs> which is a killer in healthcare, with better outcomes for less money for more people. That's what we're trying to do here. Just like SimCity, you guys play with SimCity or stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know? Okay, well, this is kind of like a SimCity of hospital design, right? We're designing hospitals that simulate a virtual world. So what we're simulating over here is the cardiac care team who's gotten the alert, um, and they're going to come over here and uh, start start working with the patient. Now, the way things work today, all this would be done serially. Someone would have to first notice that Patrick's heart rate. Well, the idea is that you don't have to do that all that stuff serially. You could start at the beginning with the simulation module saying, oh, I got another patient. The probability is like 90% that he's going to need to go to the cat lab and whatever percent he's going to need to bet. And we can start moving resources around in the hospital. Like, for example, Patrick just cut to the front of the line in the cat lab, and that's fine. Um, if I was sitting there waiting for some sort of procedure that was elective, you know, I'm going to let the guy who's about to die go in front of me. That's not a problem. But what about the guy who's in the end of the line or the person who's just showing up at the hospital about to drink one of those nasty contrast agents and they're going to get kicked out, you know, at the end of the day they're going to say, oh, sorry, we didn't have time for you. You have to go home. Um, can we, how do we get these systems together so that the person at the end of the line can save until tomorrow, go to a different lab, um, come in after hours, whatever, and get the right number of people out of the beds to make this actually work everybody.